G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I have got something new today. I did a new course. I did. I couldn't resist. I did the Fairy Flower course from resincourses.com from the lovely Majka. Uh, I don't know if that's how you pronounce her name. Um, but anyway, uh, I did it. So I did the course. I haven't done the pour yet. This is going to be my very first time. So let's do it. I will leave, I will link the course um, down in the description of my video. And there's also a coupon code if you want to use it. So there's, it's a lot more involved. There's more little cups everywhere. So we're just going to get on with it. Now, the first thing I'm doing, I've got um, a yellow, a red and a blue. And these are inks from Holbein. Um, so red and yellow obviously make orange. Red and blue make purple. And yellow and blue make green. So I've gone for those three primary colours in my little cups here. Um, and basically... What I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a dirty pour. I'm going to do a dirty pour. So, um, yeah, it takes me back to my acrylic pouring days when I do a dirty pour. So I'm just going to pour half, half my yellow. Half my red. Half my blue. And then the rest of my yellow into a little paper cup here. I'm just going to do two layers because I don't want it to get too muddy. I mean, the colours are going to get muddy anyway. <laughs> just being liquids, they are, but I'm going to try to keep them less muddy by just doing the two two layers. I guess you could do three maybe if you wanted to. You could try one and just see what one does. Anyway, there we go. That's that one. Now the resin I'm using is the Art Pro resin from Resin Pro. It's the resin that um, Majka uses. Gee, I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. <laughs> that she uses in her course. So that's what I'm using. It's a medium viscosity resin. It's a it's a um, three to two. <laughs> Did my head in a bit. Three to two, but anyway. All right. So I'll just let that sit there for a minute. Um, I've got some white here with my white pigment paste, and I'm actually going to pop that into my little piping bag here because we are going to do some piping. And you may remember me doing this particular technique when I did my fireworks um, blooms. So it's going along that line of piping dots. So we'll just pop that in there. I have not waited for my resin to warm up or anything. I just mixed it, poured it and done. So I've got some white in there. I've got some white in there. I've got some gold glass for my centre and we'll just get on with this. We'll just get on with this. Okay, so um, basically I'm just going to pour around the outside. Same as you would do with, say, the um, dragon flower effect, you know, where you put your dark around the edge and then you put your your piping. So similar to that. So... I'm going to go around here. No, oh, look, there come our rainbow colours. Hopefully it's not going to be too much of a mess. Hopefully we'll be able to see all the different colours. I don't know. Okay, so that's, that's them. Aren't they pretty in there? I'm not going to scrape it out because it's just going to be mud. Okay, now... Um, Gosh, now I can't remember what I have to do. <laughs> I can't remember what I have to do next. Um, I think I have to do my dots. 
Let's just snip the end off of this. A little piping bag. Let's see if I can do a dot. Uh, uh, this is probably going to be quite messy, but anyway, let's see if we can do dots, okay? Here we go. Dot, dot, dot. It's going to take me a little while. Feel free to fast forward. I can't stop now, so... Yeah, I can't stop. You'll just have to fast forward if you don't want to see me dropping dots. Can't stop, I can't stop. But yeah. Um yeah, um I'm I may I may fast forward the video after when I'm doing the editing, so see what happens. So basically just dropping these how I would with my fireworks. I'm not squeezing. I'm just tr I'm trying to just do one drop, but it's a bit tricky. I guess I, the more I do it, the more I'll get better at it, but I'm just dropping. See, when I do the um, fireworks one, my resin's quite thicker um, and it doesn't drop so easily. Oh, look at the pretty patterns it's making already. Oh my gosh. Oh, don't you just love the way resin moves? Love it. I hope I'm doing my dots big enough, like heavy enough. I don't know. I'm kind of doing two. Some of them have got two drops. Ah, okay. You want to go there. Righto. If I get down lower. Okay, that's it. Oh, my gosh. Now, I've still got quite a lot left. Maybe I shouldn't have done such bigger ones in the middle. I don't know. I'm just going to wind this back up so I'm going to give that a minute to pull into the into the sides there and then I'm going to go again with another row I'm going backwards now aren't I it's going to do another row Oops. I should try and slow down a bit. I'm trying to get in in sort of between the others. I've still got quite a lot left. I'm gonna go and do another road kind of in between these ones. Look, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. When I unmold, if it's worked or not. My dots aren't all that wonderful. It looks very pretty though. It does. It looks very pretty. I'm going to take a photo of it. Hang on. <laughs> I'm going to take a photo with my camera, my other camera. Oh my gosh. So pretty. I just want to zoom in. Smile. All right, there we go. Okay, so that's that done. I've still got quite a lot of white left. Maybe I need to do like another, some more petals, some more dots. Can you do some more dots? I don't know. I'm going to do a little dot between each of these other ones. Maybe too much, I don't know. Just I've got more left over, so you know, use it. Okay, I think that's kind of symmetrical. All right, now, oh my gosh, I'm gonna ruin my gorgeous artwork there by adding in my my other white. Look, I don't have the white that she uses. So I don't know whether this white is more opaque, is less opaque than what she uses. I, I don't know. So we'll just have to see, hey? We'll just have to see. It looks quite dark. Anyway, here we go. We're just going to find the middle. Pour it in. <laughs> oh, 
my gosh. That's just terrifying. Ruining my whole design there. All right. Now, I'm going to add some glass to where I think the middle. Just like so. And I'll just get a toothpick and just poke that down. Down you go. Give it a bit of a poke. Hopefully we'll still be able to see it. Hopefully the white won't be like all underneath it. Oh, I saw you, Bubble. <gasps> Look at the colours. Look at the colours. All right, let's pop you on a time lapse. And uh, see what this fairy flower is going to do for us. Okay, it has set. I when it was um, stopped moving and a little bit hard, I slipped a bit of card under it, picked it up and carried it over to my other bench and popped it into my Let's Resin curing machine for an hour. Um, and then let's let it sit for about half an hour to cool down. It's still a bit warm. But anyway, so yeah, it's still a bit bendy because it's soft, um, because it's warm, but it is set. Oh my gosh. I hope this has worked. That was a lot of trouble doing this. It was. It was a bit of trouble, I must say. Lots of, lots of little steps, but if, it's, if it works, it'll be worth it. Hey. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty on the top, isn't it? It's like a real little rainbow. All right, let's see what I've got. Here we go. Oh, no way. Look at that. That sure is a rainbow. I don't really like the white blob in the middle, but the rest of it. Oh my gosh. I might do a top you could do a top coat and cover that couldn't you wowzers look at that oh my gosh i'm so excited wow and i'd be super excited if i didn't have that white in the middle i wonder how i could stop that from happening hmm i have to have a think about it what can we put there let's put something in the middle so that we don't see it okay just just wait right there I've got these little shiny little paper flowers. I wonder what they would look like just in the middle. Look at that! Is the purple one? I'm thinking the blue maybe because I've got blue on the outside. It'd be nice to introduce a little bit of blue in the middle. Look at that! Oh, wow. Okay. Um, easy fix. Top coat with a little bit of the flower on or 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 um, again top coat and just make that like put more glitter in it let's see what it would look like haven't used this one before this one's called mermaid dreams I don't know if you can see the color change there this is by color passion so I haven't used this one before so what I like to do before you go, you know, putting your top coat on and putting your glitter in, what you can do is just get a little bit and you can change colours and just pop a bit there in the centre. And then you can see whether or not you're going to like the effect. So this is what I do. <laughs> it's flying away everywhere. So this has got like a colour change in it and I think it matches that rainbow look really well. It's It's got static and it's sticking to me. But anyway, you get the general idea. So you could try a few different colours and see if you are going to do this sort of thing. And look, there's no reason why you can't. If you absolutely love a piece and you just think, oh, I don't like the middle change it it's your piece you do what you want with it so if you want to change it you change it look at that <gasps> definitely gonna have to do this you guys because i just don't like that white blob in the middle 
I'll have to find out how not to get that. But look at it! Oh my gosh! I'm so excited! I did it! I did it! I did it! I did it! It's the first piece that I've actually really love. And um, yeah, with the with the new with the new technique. So thank you to resincourses.com. Love it. And you can see you can see the swirl, you know, where I poured the colours. So you got that blue going into the yellow, going into the red. Got a little bit of purple happening. Um, got a little bit of green up here as well. So I guess if you wanted it to be more blended, you could like pour three times into your little dirty cup. But um, yeah, for my first attempt, I think that is amazing. I want to see what it looks like with different color glitters on too. too. So maybe a yellow because it's got quite a lot of red. I get like a gold glitter. Shall we see what that looks like before I decide on what to do on my top coat? Okay, guys, so I've popped some of my Larissi gold over the top there in the center my holographic glitter and I am absolutely in love with it I just love 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 it so much what do you think <laughs> oh my gosh I am in love with it I think that's one of the prettiest things I've made hey that little bit of yellowy gold in the center just picks up this little bit of yellow here so yeah very very happy with it let's go for a little walk now it is it is darker than what you can see up there so this this is more realistic in the colors it's a little bit darker it's just divine i am so happy so happy and i'm very happy that i've taken the course <laughs> Because now I can make such gorgeous, gorgeous things. Hello, photo bomber. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, there's always somebody trying to get in on the action. Hey, easy. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this little video as much as I have enjoyed bringing it to you. And uh, I will see you all again for the next one. Let me know what colours I should try next for my fairy flower. And don't forget to check out resincourses.com. This is amazing. So glad I've got this. Thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Take care. Bye for now.